everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Donna. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something that I just discovered uh, this morning. So I bought a storage unit and I was just looking at the pictures to see should I go with the pickup truck? Should I go with the pickup truck and trailer? What am I up against? Was it 10 by 15? Was it 10 by 10? Sometimes I bid on units and I like don't really pay attention. I just kind of buy them. This unit has an interesting story. Um, as a matter of fact, I discussed this with my friend Brad, who also buys storage units. We kind of call each other and we tell each other, what are you bidding on? Because we don't like to bid against each other. We have a really great relationship like that. So yesterday morning I went on, I logged on, and I thought, let me just look and see what's available. And I saw a bunch of listings and he agreed. He did the same thing. He saw a bunch of listings. Um, the, a lot of them were going for a lot of money, which is very normal for here in the Palm Beaches. So I went out and then I went back in and a unit popped up and it's the bidding was at $10 and it was going to end in like five minutes. I'm like, how did I miss this? And I'm like, hmm, for $10 might make good uh, for a good YouTube video. Like, you know, what do you get for $10 in a unit? $10 units do not exist here. I know that they do in different parts of the country, but they do not exist here at all. So I called my friend Brad and I said, hey, did you see this unit? Like 10 bucks. And he's like, whoa. Because so I gave him the unit number. And he said, whoa, where'd that come from? And I said, I have no idea. It just popped up. He said, well, if you don't bid on it, I'm going to bid on it. I said, no, nah, I think I'll throw a bid on it. So with three minutes left, I threw a bid on it. And I won it. I won it for 10 bucks. So... This morning, I went to uh, see what, up, what I'm up against. I'm leaving here momentarily to go secure the unit, maybe empty it out, maybe just change the locks. I'm not sure. But I want to show you what I just noticed, which is very, very interesting. So I'm going to be calling the manager right now okay. to see exactly so what's going on. The unit. So this, this is, is what the I noticed. I and you can see it has mattresses and some furniture and to be honest with you the reason why i bought it was because i'm very curious as to what this is right here that's what sparked my curiosity and that's really the only reason why i bid on it because the rest of it kind of looks like uh, a little bit trashy i'm not really sure it looks like pillows and uh, I don't know, maybe a drying rack. I don't know. There's this piece of furniture here, some linens. Um, the mattresses are wrapped in plastic, so those I may be able to donate. And you can see my final bid it was $10. Now, this is what concerns me. Um, if you scroll through the pictures, okay, this still looks like the same unit. You can see this piece here in the background and we go to the next one okay let me go back to this this is how i looked at it you see this wall right here that is one wall and here is the other wall the ending wall okay so that is the unit okay there's the unit again with that ugly looking tree why they would put that in a unit now mind you this is not a leaned unit it is not a leaned unit okay this is still the same one it's got this farmer's table and some more you know, pillows and n nothing really of interest. It looks like just a lot of donation type stuff. This is what concerns me. Now look at this. Wall and wall. This is a completely different unit. There's nothing in this unit that even closely resembles the other unit which is very very strange and then here's the picture of this unit again which is very very weird so which is it which unit is it is it this unit that I bought wall to wall or is it this unit that I bought wall to wall storage. so let's Direct call the manager and see what he has to say press one. if you are currently renting a space with us press two to rent a storage space or check our rates and availability press one if you are currently renting a space with us press two 
Please note that this call might be recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Thanks for calling public storage. My name is Pat. How may I help you today? Hi, Pat. Can you please connect me to your public storage number 23209 Magnolia Park, North Australian Avenue in West Palm Beach, Florida? Uh, yeah, I yeah. Absolutely, I can transfer you through. You already have stores there or a reservation? You just need to speak to your manager. Oh, I need to speak to the manager, please. Okay. Um, and and do you, do you have a reservation with us there or, no. or you're looking for storage? No, no, no. I, I want a storage unit on storage treasures and I need to speak to the manager. Oh, I understand. I understand. Absolutely. Would you like the direct number before I transfer you just so you have it? Yes, thank you. I'm an unlisted number as well. Yeah, certainly. It's 561. Three two three, three two seven two nine eight. They always just make me ask. Yeah, three two three seven two nine eight. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I get you right through. Thank you. Congratulations on the win there. Thank Treasure you. Now. Thank yeah, you. Thanks. has been forwarded to the voicemail for 23,209 direct. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press the pound key for more options. Hey, um, my name is Donatella Bottolino and I won auction ID number 1307590. Uh, through storage treasures. If the person in charge of um, the storage wins or the property manager could please give me a call back at 561-768-3585, I would appreciate it. That is 561-768-3585. Thank you. Okay, so I put the call in, left a message with the property manager, so now we wait and we'll see when he calls back because if I bid on that second set of photos, I'm not going to get it. It doesn't make sense. The first set doesn't even really make sense either, but I have found treasures in storage lockers that look like that. So I'll make a decision. Okay, everybody. Property manager. So I have not heard from the storage manager from the facility, so I've decided to... um, just drive down there and see what the story is and see what's going on. Um, Going down in two trucks, my truck, and then we got the big red truck right behind us. I didn't, I'm not bringing the trailer, which probably could use the trailer because there's a lot of big heavy um, furniture in there, but I've got Chezzy with me and my husband's behind me. We can always go back tomorrow with Massimo. I don't know, my friend Brad is gonna be meeting us down there also. And uh, we'll make a decision once I get down there because if it's if it's the second of the series of pictures, I'm not gonna close the deal. I'm not gonna buy it, even for ten dollars. I'm not gonna do it because um, there's just plainly you can see that there's nothing. At least in the first set of pictures, there's a chance that there might be something worth don't forget it's the time it's the gas it's you know the energy it's the bidding like it's there's a lot involved when it comes to buying storage units stay in the middle lane you know there's there's uh all of the time wasted in you know watching the auctions bidding on the auctions and then having to drive to where the auction is and there's a lot involved chesi did you want to tell everybody what you were just saying to me I already paid for it. No. What were you just saying to me? Um. Weren't you just saying, I absolutely love it when my mother buys storage units. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world when my mother buys storage units. 
Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> you guys, it's completely the opposite. My kids hate it when I buy storage units. To be honest with you, my husband doesn't like it very much either. Um, he tolerates it. He tolerates it, but he does not like it. And my kids despise it. In my house, when I say to the kids, I want a unit, they're like, they, they scatter. They run into their rooms and they're like, no. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not good, right, Chaz? Right. Because they know how much work it is. I mean, that's really honestly why. It's because they know how much work it is and how involved it is and, you know, the, the cleaning out of the unit and the sorting of the unit and the dumping of the unit and the donating of the unit. It's just, it's very, very time consuming. So that's why they don't like it. Um, anyway, so we'll see if the manager calls. No call yet. Um, it's about, what, how many minutes away does the GPS say? 11. 11 minutes. Hi, Denali. It's 11 minutes, so it's not so, so bad. Um, it's it's kind of like a, a neighborhood across the tracks. Mile. Keep left onto Prosperity Farms Road. We are on Prosperity Farms Road. Why is it I saying? I keep saying going straight. Huh, that's weird. Oh, All right, friends, I'll, uh, I'll turn are... the camera on when we get close. All right. Um, getting close. Right, Chessie, how far away are we from location? Um, four minutes. Four minutes. And we're supposed to turn right. So let's see. Gasoline prices. Cash. Oops. Cash or credit. $2.25. It's creeping back up. Gosh, it was down for a while. All right. So this is Blue Herring Boulevard. Mama, do you get um, paid for YouTube videos? Yes, I get paid. I don't get paid a lot. At the light. Turn left onto Australian Avenue. Turn left at the light. Is this Australian right here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't get paid a lot. I get paid. Um, so if you, it depends on the subscribers. If you have a lot of subscribers, then yeah. I mean, some of the big channels get paid a lot, and they they pay you by like thousand subscribers. So, so different channels get like different amounts, like. Like, I, last time I looked, I think it was like $8 per thousand views. And if I get a thousand views on a video, like, on a live, I'm happy. I'm lucky and I'm happy. Um, some of the big channels, they get like 20,000 views. But they may not be making $8 an hour. They could be making, sometimes make, some some of them make as much as like $30 an hour. Uh, not an hour. Uh, $30 per thousand views. Um, so it, 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 it just In all depends. Four miles. Turn right. Okay, we're almost here. It all depends. Um, and then there's like different categories. Like if you have a channel that's like a teaching channel, then um, you make more money. Like a learning channel. If you have just like an entertainment channel, which is basically what I have, just entertainment, then you make less money. So there's a lot of factors that go into it. Mm. But the most important thing is to upload videos like every single day. It's called content. Upload content every single day. And it's kind of like a TV show. Like you should, you should upload content at the same In one time. Mile. Turn right. In one mile. You should upload content like every day at the same time. It's like, you know, like people, people are creatures of habit. Like like years ago, like I know it's kind of changed now. I mean, I don't know if the 11 o'clock news is still on. I don't know if it is or not. You guys tell me in the comments below if it is. But like people are used to like turning into the 11 o'clock news every single day. Or like when I was growing up, it was like um, um, Happy Days, which was a show that I used to watch. Happy Days was on every single night at six o'clock. Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, like they were on every week at the same time. They weren't on every day, but there was shows that were on every day, like soap operas. Soap operas like um, General Hospital, which, which was a soap opera that was really popular when I was growing up. That used to be on every day at three o'clock general hospital like every single day so YouTube's kind of the same thing you should set a time 
find a time and release your videos at that same time every single day. But I don't do that. <laughs> well, because I'm so busy with doing, you know, I mean, I wish I could do it. Now, there's some people that that's all they do is YouTube content. So they release videos like every single day or they release a, release a premiere every single day um, because that's all they do. They don't do anything else or they'll do like selling events or auctions on their channel like once a week. I go on every day. So I'm like shipping every day. I'm selling every day. It's, um, you know, I do a lot of a lot of different things. Anyway, so this guy still hasn't called. The, 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 um, this is not such a great section of town. We're in Magnolia Park. Um, does it say? How far are we? Does it say? Uh, one minute. One minute. And the gasoline here is $2.19. It's actually six cents cheaper than it was right down the street. How much is ours um, near Prosperity? I don't know, I didn't check. But I filled I filled the tank yesterday and I noticed that it was $79 to fill it, where wow. usually we've been paying in like the 60s. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. Oh, we're here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Arrived. Let's go in and see what we're up against here. You're gonna stay in the car, Chessie? Yes. Okay. Unless you want me to record. No. You can stay in the well, car. Well, first sign is that they're not here. I knocked on the door. See him coming in the little golf cart right there. Does it show which so, one it is? Let's see what happens. I guess the best thing to do is just go open the gate and see which one it is that that I actually ended up buying. The first set of three or the second set of three pictures. Yeah, we'll go look at them first. All right, you guys. So here's what happened. Those pictures that were posted, the first three pictures, those were actually the unit from last month. And then they came, they paid for their unit. They came in, they took what they wanted and they trashed this and then they let this go to auction. And so this is the piece of furniture right here. You can see where the wicker front, that piece of furniture is the furniture that you see in the first three pictures. And then, so, the, so when they, the manager uploaded the pictures, he just, you know, he probably had a file with this unit number and he uploaded the three pictures but those were from last month's when it was going up for auction and now it went up for auction so they obviously came in here took what they wanted trashed the unit so yeah we're uh, we're gonna leave this behind we're not gonna we're not gonna take this unit all right stand by Chez. So 
My daughter's jumping for joy. We don't have to clean out a storage unit today. Turned out to be uh, a total fail. That's why it's so important, you guys. Lesson learned, lesson learned. Me, you know, keep an eye on those pictures. Examine those pictures. Take a close look at them uh, <clears throat> because uh, you never know. I mean, the, the property manager was very, very nice. She was awesome. She totally understanding, explained to me exactly what happened or what, at least what she thought happened. Um, I don't believe at all that they were trying to pull the wool over my eyes or trying to do something shady. I, I truly do believe that the people had the unit and it went to auction and they paid on it, took out what they want trash the rest and it was just you know a mistake on the on the property manager or the, it's a, I think it's their district manager that um, uploads pictures he just probably just made a mistake and yeah so that's it what are we gonna do now go home go home 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 and we are going to go live tonight tonight today's Tuesday so it's a one-off, no, it's $10 Tuesday. There's the railroad tracks, you guys. $10 Tuesday on my channel with T um, auctions for you. If you're not subscribed, her link is down below. So please be sure to subscribe to T's channel. And we'll be on on Wednesday night, which is tomorrow night for a one-off Wednesday. And then we are generally on twice on Sunday, um, three o'clock on auctions for you and nine o'clock. I don't know which way to go here, Chessie. Mm, let's see, we are heading north. I think right. So right would be east. Okay, we need to go right. <clears throat> um, you're going left right now, though. I know. I'm in the wrong lane. So we're um, 9 o'clock on my channel on Sunday nights. And always, always, Friday, fri Friday nights, 9 o'clock. Been doing Friday nights, 9 o'clock on my channel for over two years. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for uh, watching. And please hit the bell icon. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And this guy just threw a piece of paper out of his truck. Wow, next to me. Unbelievable. People still litter these days, which is incredible. I don't want to say anything to him because I will say something that is not very nice. He just like wiped his mouth with the piece of paper and threw it out his window. Can you believe it? All right, this guy's letting me go. Thank you, sir. Unbelievable. I can't believe he just like wiped his mouth and just threw it out the window. And then when I looked at him, he smiled at me. Terrible. Anyways, he was raised wrong, brought up wrong. All right, you guys, I'm going to sign off. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. And bye.